This is a brief introduction on how to start the engines on an Airbus A320 series aircraft and prepare the aircraft for taxi. Today we're at Manchester International Airport on Taxiway Delta. The flight management guidance system preparation is complete, including setting the flight plan route. Today we have a departure from Manchester 23 left on an Eclard 1 Yankee and today's flight will take us to Innsbruck anticipating runway 26. Takeoff performance has been calculated and inserted. Today we have a flap 1 departure with a flex temperature and the associated V speeds. The takeoff briefing is complete and looking at our primary flight display uh, we can see today that our initial stop altitude is 5000 feet. The agreed V speeds are inserted. Looking at the navigation display uh, we can see the departure from runway 23 left and the first turn on the Eclat 1 Yankee departure. The aircraft is powered by external power only. The inertial reference system is aligned. In order to start the engines we need a source of pneumatic power. The standard way is to use APU bleed air. There is uh, another way available which is a ground air cart but today uh, we're going to use APU bleed air so let's start the APU. In order to do this firstly I'm going to do an APU fire test to test that the fire suppression system is working correctly. And confirming we have all the appropriate warnings and belts. Once the fire test is complete I can now start the APU. Firstly pressing the APU master switch. And with a delay of three seconds, then pressing APU start. The ECAM lower display, that's the ECAM system display, automatically displays the APU page as soon as I press the APU master switch. And we can see the APU starting. That involves opening a flap engaging a starter motor and fuel and ignition. Now that the APU is available I can select APU bleed on. I can use the APU bleed air to provide air conditioning through the packs and as we have electrical power through the APU I can disconnect the external power. Once cleared start engines I'll switch on the beacon warning light, confirm that the thrust levers are at idle and also confirm that the parking brake is set on. In order to begin an automatic engine start sequence the first action is to select on the engine mode selector ignition start. As soon as I do that on the lower ECAM display, the system display, the engine page appears which shows the secondary engine parameters. I'm going to start engine two first. Engine two powers the yellow hydraulic system, which applies pressure to the parking brake. So with the engine two master switch on, we can see that the start valve is inline green. The pressure is good. N2 is increasing. At 16% N2, we have ignition. 22% N2 we have a light up shown by a rise in EGT. The engine continues to accelerate. Once N2 goes above 50% the start valve closes and once the engine is stabilised a veil is displayed. Engine 2 start is complete, now starting engine 1, engine 1 master switch, on, again we can see the start valve in line green, good pressure, N2 increases, at 16% we have ignition, at 22% fuel flow, and then light up with an EGT rise. Of 
50% N2, the start valve closes and the avail display is indicated. Both engines are now started successfully so we can complete the engine start sequence by switching the engine mode select to normal. On the overhead panel, switching off the APU bleed. Considering engine anti-ice, it isn't required today. And switching off the APU. Once the engines are started and the pilot flying has set the engine mode select to normal, the pilot monitoring will then perform the after start flow pattern which includes arming ground spoilers, resetting the rudder trim to zero, setting the takeoff flap, and setting the takeoff pitch trim. On the ECAM page, checking that the slides are armed, and if the status label is displayed, checking the ECAM status page. Once those actions are complete, and we are cleared for taxi, Taxi light goes on and we're good to go.